Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. There are, listen, with God, there are no illegitimate children. Are we together now? With God, there are no illegitimate children. Provided you come to Jesus, he receives you. Are we together now? Presents you to the Father, and like him, you are called son. So he is the firstborn among we, the begotten. Are we learning? James 1 and verse 5. James chapter 1 and verse 5. It said, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally. Liberally. A version, I think NIV says, graciously. Or is it the English Standard Version or thereabout? Graciously. Generously. God does not just give carelessly. Yeah. He gives graciously and he gives generously. That means when you say, God, I'm hungry, you better be prepared for what you receive. Because he gives according to his riches. According to his riches. Even for strangers, he commands the rain to fall upon the just and the unjust. Talk less dealing with those that is a family affair. Everybody say, God is my father. One more time, say, God is my father. So whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, whether it's open doors, you are approaching Abba, Pata, the source, sustainer, protector, defender. Number three, the third key to receiving from God. Are you ready? We receive answers from God. Listen, first by asking in prayer. I'm teaching you the laws of receiving. We receive answers from God first in prayer. You cannot receive from God outside of prayer. We receive from God by asking in prayer. We receive from God first by asking in prayer. Psalms 34 and verse 17. We receive from God by asking and that in prayer. Psalm 34, 17. We receive from God by asking in prayer. Let's walk together, media. Can we get Psalm 34 and verse 17? The righteous cry and the Lord hear it and deliver it them out of how many? Say all. The righteous cry and the Lord hear it. The righteous cry. The psalmist said, if I cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not hear me when I pray. But here it is, he says, the righteous cry and the Lord hear it and deliver them out of all their troubles. We receive answers from God by asking in prayer. Mark, Matthew 7 and verse 8. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 8. Matthew 7 and verse 8. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. There is a guarantee that provided you ask, you will receive. He never said everyone in need will receive. You have to verbalize your need, vocalize your need by asking in prayer. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. Can I give you two more scriptures? 1 John 5, 14 and 15. A beautiful worship team sang it. 1 John 5. 14 and 15 and this is the confidence that we have in him that if 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 we ask anything if we ask healing according to his will if we ask for lifting according to his will if we ask for open doors restoration according to his will my bible your bible says he heareth us next verse he says, and if we know that he heareth us, 
whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him john chapter 16 and verse 24 he says he that told you have asked nothing in my name he says ask and ye shall receive are you seeing it now now most believers have needs but they do not know that asking is the seed for receiving ye have not because he asked not he says he that told you have asked for nothing ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full is someone ready to ask we receive answers from God first by asking first by asking first by asking Mark 11 24 what things soever ye desire we read it earlier on when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and ye shall have them whatsoever things ye desire when you pray asking in prayer someone say I will ask go ahead say I will ask when it's time to pray don't keep quiet regardless the kind of anointing present don't be silent regardless the ministry of angels don't be silent and don't ask for some and leave some the bible says what thing soever if it's a job ask it give me this day my daily bread your daily bread is not food it's everything that makes for your sufficiency and efficiency and it says god gives it daily not monthly daily i receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. I receive, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. And I tell you, if you are not willing to ask, if you are ashamed of asking, even in the world of men, you will never receive. Am I right on that? For everyone that asketh, receive it. Tonight is a night to ask. Tonight is a night to ask. Don't just say, Father, visit me generally. That is careless asking. You ask with intelligence. Are we together? Let this plague, oh God, mention it. Plague of crying. I see things just when I want to receive them, they evaporate. Let it end. Everyone that asks it. Why is it that people vow that I will, I will visit you? Call me on Thursday. You call by Thursday morning. They say, I can't remember calling you. If you call me again, I'll, you'll go to jail. And you're saying, sir, but on Monday we spoke. I can't remember you. Your space has been taken by another. Tonight is the time to ask. Lord, what is this, this disfavor hanging around my life? You are father. When you wanted a cult that no man had ridden on. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Tonight's miracle service, if you open up your heart, you will be surprised what God will do. someone who is tired of where they are listen someone who tonight is not the night to allow things continue oh so this is the key i have been desiring but not been asking i've been desiring but not been asking i've been wishing wishing is not asking no wishing is not asking having a strong desire is important but it is not asking you are only entitled to receive when you ask lord show me favor jabez said oh that thou wouldest bless me jabez would have said look at what my mother did for me that is not asking that is complaining and that's how many of you have approached god god look at what is happening in nigeria 
I understand, I sympathize, but that is not asking. Father, you said the increase of the field is for all and that even the king is served. In the name of Jesus, I place a demand on my portion, my portion in Nigeria, my portion in Europe, my portion in America. You are Father, the earth is the Lord, that my portion be delivered to me. That my portion be delivered to me. You are a God of portions. There is a Rehoboth attached, a Rehoboth for me. My portion be delivered to me. We receive from God first by asking. First by asking. Let me give you a minute to ask for something before we continue. I shouldn't tell you what to ask. You know where the pain is, ask. You know where the disappointment is, ask. You know where the discouragement is, ask. You know where the confusion is, ask. You know where the defeat is, ask. You know where the limitations are, ask. Unto thee that hearest prayer shall all flesh come. Someone ask. Ask in faith. You are asking Abba. You are asking Pata, the giver of all good things. We receive answers from God by asking in prayer. By asking in prayer. By placing a demand, specific demands in prayer. There are rules to answers. Hallelujah. Please be seated. With your faith rising, be seated. With anger, holy anger in your spirit, be seated. As one who is prepared to receive. Hmm. Number four. These are secrets to receiving answers. Secrets to receiving solutions. You must believe that all lasting help comes from God and God alone. You must believe that God is a loving father and he's a giver who desires the well-being and the joy of his children. You must know that we receive answers from God first by asking in prayer. No assumptions. Asking in prayer. Are you ready for number four? Listen carefully. The physical delivery or manifestation of our answers happens primarily through the ministry of men. The physical delivery or manifestation of our answers happens primarily through the ministry of men. If you don't know this, you will hear yes in the spirit and it will never manifest as yes. There is a difference between receiving and having. Receiving is a spiritual reality. It is by faith in prayer. But having means the experiential manifestation of your desire. And I'm saying when you have received in the spirit, the physical delivery or manifestation of our answered prayers happens primarily through the ministry of men. You need to know this. This is the reason why in spite of the fact that God is the God of all heavens, you are gathered today, the ministry of men. That means the total recipe for receiving results is the God factor plus the man factor he has anointed and ordained. It does not just stop at God. Are we together now? And there are two kinds of men you receive from. Number one, they are called vessels ordained by God, like men of God. Number two, they are called helpers of destiny. Take note. These are the two kinds of men primarily whose ministry affects your manifesting answered prayers. Number one, vessels ordained by God vessels ordained by God are we learning now that the physical delivery the manifestation of our answered prayers 
happens primarily through the ministry of men. And I'm teaching you that there are two kinds of these ministries of men. Number one, vessels ordained by God. How do they sponsor that manifestation? By speaking over your life. By bringing prophetic instructions. First Samuel chapter 1, please. I like this. First Samuel chapter 1. We're reading from verse 10. Perhaps for the sake of time, we might just jump. Now, the Bible tells us about the man Elkanah. And he said he had two wives. Are we together? Hannah and Penina. One had children and the other was barren. The Bible says she was in bitterness of soul. Watch how she received the miracle. That she, Hannah now, was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Very quickly, let's run. It says, and she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will look upon the affliction of your handmaid and not forget your handmaid and give me a man child. Are you seeing now? She didn't just ask for a baby. She said, I desire a man child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor be upon his head. In other words, you will be consecrated to serve the Lord. Next verse. The Bible says, it came to pass as she continued praying. Are you seeing prayer there now? Asking in prayer. Eli marked her mouth. He saw her moving her mouth. Hannah spake in her heart and her lips moved. But her voice was not heard. So Eli the prophet thought she was drunk. 14. Eli said unto her, How long will you be drunk, madam? We've advised you people, all these church members, stay away from wine. Are we together? That's what he was saying. He was rebuking her. Verse 15. This is what she said. Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, you are, you are in a mistake. I'm not, I'm not, this is not a woman who is drunk. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Verse 16. It says, count not your handmaid for a daughter of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief, I have spoken hitherto. What a woman. Watch the power of the prophetic. Watch the power of ordained vessels. Verse 17. And Eli answered and said, are you seeing the ministry of men? She had received in prayer, but it had not manifested. He said, go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him you would think because she was done praying if she had just left like that Samuel will never come Eli said I have a role to play I am an ordained vessel you want to have that baby let me speak over your life go in peace and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition go to verse 20 jump to verse 20 because of time verse 20 wherefore it came to pass when the time had come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and she called his name Samuel, help me, saying, because I have asked him of the Lord. This is why I got the child. She named him Samuel, reason that I have asked of the Lord, routed through an ordained vessel, God has answered me. For someone, your Samuel is arriving. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it to you physically and prophetically. Your Samuel is arising. Ordained vessels. Ordained vessels. Ordained vessels. In John chapter 5, when you read from verse 5 to 11, popular story. Jesus again at Bethesda. A certain man was there who had an infirmity 30 and 8 years, remember? And the Bible says, Jesus saw that he had been there a long time. And he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Next verse, he says, I have no man. This is the problem of the man. I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another person who has a man to help him will step in before me. Verse 8. And Jesus said unto him, since you have no man, I have come as the son of man. Rise up, take your bed and walk. The Bible says, verse 9, it says, Immediately the man was made whole and he took up his bed and walked. And on the same Sabbath day, are you seeing that now? And the Bible says, the Jews therefore said this and that. They started complaining, final verse 11. And he answered them, he that made me whole said to me, take up thy bed and move. 
there is the ministry of ordained vessels in your manifesting answered prayers and in the name of Jesus Christ we stand tonight as privileged ordained vessels that is the reason why I have confidence that that which leaves the mouth of God in the name of Jesus as it gets to us we will shoot it like an arrow into your destiny yeah. ordained vessels number two the second kinds of men help us of destiny I've taught it here Acts chapter 3 and verse 2 the man who was at gate beautiful the Bible says a certain man lame from his mother's womb I've taught it here but for the sake of those who are just coming the Bible says that man was carried he didn't tell us the name of those who carried him but the man was carried and they laid him daily meaning they carried him and returned him back they carried him and returned him back if that man was not carried Peter and John will not meet him the reason why Peter and John could meet him was that certain helpers of destiny were not exhausted carrying him every day it takes an anointing for a man to keep helping you continually they would have been tired and say you are a heavy man you are an impotent man and you are crippled all kinds of things are wrong with you this is the last time we're carrying you after we drop you today we have tried can I tell you the helpers of your destiny if ordained by God they never get tired or they're helping you when men begin to get tired helping you maybe Brook Cherith is getting dried you need to pray and say Lord where is the next place that help should continue but if a man is ordained by God to help you I tell you he will never truly get weary they may complain but that anointing will refire compassion in them again are we together so my job as an ordained vessel of God is to midwife the arrival of your miracle while prophesying over you that as you leave this place the destiny helper positioned so don't be surprised that as soon as we're sharing the grace mysterious calls are coming and someone is saying where are you we've been calling you for the last one hour where are you where are you we wanted to help your father but now that he's gone we agreed as a board that you are the one we will help do you believe this yes all blessings come from God through man now if you put your trust in men you will be disappointed but men will remain channels for your receiving are we learning now the experiential manifestation of everything you are praying for for instance many by faith as we have prayed you have received your healing but the physical manifestation has not happened just spare me a few minutes and watch the power of ordained vessels that in a moment with one prophetic word that devil that pain whatever it is that you call it maybe you came here with some crutch unable to walk and with one prophetic word you will find strength ankle to your I mean strength to your ankles and limbs and you will throw that thing away and stand some demonic thing I I, I, I once prayed for someone they said once the Sun is setting he starts behaving like a lunatic so they chain him true story they tie him somewhere in the room he you know how animals maybe ah, how animals that's how he keeps shouting there they would tie him until the next morning then he will be fine once it is evening that is Satan for you if you came with anybody who is not all right in the name that is above all names as I'm speaking now because there are angels here there are supernatural activities I'm praying already let the word for healing let the word for restoration in the name of Jesus like a tornado from heaven let it fall upon all those who have need of it let it fall upon all those who have need of it let it fall upon all those who have need of it in the name of Jesus Christ I tell you this um, most people bypass this protocol in desiring the ministry of men you don't choose the destiny helpers it is God that brings you the moment you try to choose destiny helpers 90% of the time you will fail because you will choose after the flesh you just see a man and say this man is my uncle let him be the one oh God 
to give me my house rent you already you've uh, you've aborted your opportunity from receiving there are eight billion plus men on earth allow the wisdom of the spirit to direct you he can choose any man and if men are not available he will raise up stones the challenge with many believers is that we manifest auxiliary faith your faith already has the picture of people who you must force God to use to bless you unfortunately men have their wills and God will respect it are we together God can tell me today to bless you to pay your rent and I can choose as an act of my will to disobey God he will honor me but if you tie your faith to me you will suffer as if God is not helping you he came to Mary Mary we need your womb to birth Jesus are you available Mary would have said don't talk that nonsense don't ruin my marriage I'm already planning my marriage go and look for another woman the angel would have said all right I will take back the report to God God we met this woman and she's not interested and you would have gone to another person but Mary said behold thy handmaid he said be it unto me that means I agree to be that vessel I've learned the futility of looking up to men for help help will always come to men but not the men you choose allow the wisdom of the father of spirits to be the one to choose men and he will carry a man from us and bring him to your village to help you are we together do you believe this if you don't believe this you are going to see you, your life will be surrounded by disappointments what if the person you are trusting on dies what now happens to you They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I remind you as we begin to pray that every help you are going to be receiving tonight, it does not come from Joshua Selman. It doesn't come from Koinonia. It only comes through Joshua Selman. It only comes through this house. There are thousands, thousands of people gathered in this place tonight. Thousand others following online. It will be evil of me to claim that it will come from me to you it will only come through me to you there is a mighty God you know what the word El Shaddai means El Shaddai means multi-breasted one if you understand it literally no woman can feed more than two children breast milk at the same time that is her limitation but the one called multi-breasted means somebody does not have to suffer because he's feeding another are we together he's large enough in supply for everyone to enjoy that blessing at the same time if a woman has triplets at most she can only feed two at the same time am I right one will have to wait hungry but have to wait until two or one is satisfied because she is not El Shaddai but when you call God multi-breasted one you are saying no matter how many children he has it is within his capacity at the same time that means someone's rising will not have to suspend another person's rising it is El Shaddai are we together now it's a very powerful name that he has it then means whilst you are shouting amen and you are seeing God move in the life of your neighbor you should know that his miracle is not interrupting your own at all El Shaddai more than sufficient don't say two people have received the grace for favor maybe it has finished uh -uh. God is not Isaac that when Jacob came he said is there no blessing left with God there is abundance abundance he will speak to one and speak to one again and speak to one and speak to one again there is no exhaustion with him that's what makes him God I have searched and searched all the earth Searched and searched all the earth and I found that Babu Wali Kamara. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and I found that Babu Wali Kamara. Truly I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and I found It's a confession in this house. Bamu and Nika Marka. Yes. Bamu and Nika Marka. There's 
no other God beside you. You will search and search all the earth, search and search all the earth, you will find that Babuani We have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and we found that there is no one like him no one like him unlimited mighty able to save to the uttermost able to heal able to deliver listen listen to me there is one attribute of God that I fear. Not is a holy reverence, the one who opens doors. I tell you, if you have not known this about God, then you've not been a Christian for a long time. When God vows to open a door, woe betides the man that stands behind that door. You see, I have taught you here that there are three ways of opening doors. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but I, as I said this, I just sensed an anointing that there are certain doors that have refused to open. And those doors can be men. They have refused to open. He is called the father of spirits. Listen, there are three ways to open doors. The use of correct keys, number one, by knocking through relationships, number two, but the use of force. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang loud enough for the jailers to hear them. And suddenly there was an earthquake. It rattled the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says immediately, all doors, how many doors? Financial doors, relational doors, all doors, career doors, all doors open. Turn it into prayer. Lord, open doors for me. Open doors for me. Let it be clear that I met you. Come on, pray. While you are seated, pray. Open doors for me. You can open doors. Career doors. I have been stagnated. Open doors for me. If I depend on men, shame will be my lot. But my God and my King, you are able to open doors. Outside, pray. Inside, pray. Open doors for me. You're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh. Keep praying. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you. Jesus, no one like you, no one like you is a no one like you, no one like you, Father, no one like you, Master, you're the God of everything. Someone is praying, doors are opening. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you is a no one like you. No one like you. No one like you. Open doors, oh God. You're the God of everything. No one like you. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes doors do not come close because it is an attack. It comes close because it is a new realm. When you buy new things, they are sealed. 
they are not sealed to hurt you they are sealed as a sign of authenticity that no one has gotten this there are if you buy a drink and it's open sometimes they tell you if this product has been tampered with return it back because it means it's not new there are certain closed doors now it's not an attack it's because no one in your family has entered before you are the first who will be opening that door who am i prophesying to in the name of jesus i decree and declare i call upon he who has the key of david the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door every door that has been closed over your career over your life over your destiny i declare a father be open 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 be open be open doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen i have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray. Be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door. Strategic doors. Relational doors. Financial doors. Spiritual doors. Abraga baga barakatash, lega prateka barakatos, kebranteka baka barokatos. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open.
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here. Not just, you are individuals but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated. Anyone here. Under territorial closed doors. That have tied you down. Tied your family down. Right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God. In the name of Jesus. He has broken the gates of brass. And cut the bars of iron in sunder. Tied by witchcraft. Tied by ancestry. Tied by bloodline. In the name that is above all names. I say it again. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. You and your family. Be delivered now. Open up the gate. Open up the door. Will you open up the gates? Open up the door. Shabala Gabara to Siakabara. Open up the gates. The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said you will have a son Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him John they said no you can't call him John nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name John nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed 
Nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine Christian. Nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school, secondary school. Nobody from this lineage has even gone outside Nigeria. I stand by the anointing, by the God who sent me. Anyone here who has been tied down, pegged down, that you and your family cannot go forward. I prophesy to you, go forward now. 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 Alenda kapara sata ke balako sabash. Raba da kapara kosiata. Go forward. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you. Go forward. Go forward in career. 10 years without promotion. 15 years without promotion. Go forward now. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen, we're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you to go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down, not allowing you to rise to live destiny. Tonight, I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. Be released to go forward. Be released to make progress. Be released to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, the Holy Ghost power. Isaiah 42 verse 7 Isaiah 42 verse 7 42 verse 7 to open the blind eyes and to bring out the prisoners from prison and them that sit in darkness out of prison houses Jeremiah 30 and verse 8 something mighty is about to happen here now for it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord of hosts that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and I will bust their bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. I want to pray right now. Before I pray for the sick, I'm going to pray for you right now. That anyone who came here, and I want you to please bring them out very quickly. Let's do this very fast. If the ushers are limited, or that maybe prayer department can help them so that they are not stressed. Do you know why we minister to people this way? You will have to be in the shoes of people to see the kinds of chains, chains that tie destinies, bondages that cannot be explained. One person from where the international visitors are, I'm seeing an anointing coming on someone. There is, I just saw fire where the international visitors are. Please, I want you to pick that person and bring the person out now. That, that spirit of witchcraft. 
Kalina Shalaka Barakatas, Lena Barato Savila Shabarantos Kiada. We come against altars, we come against powers, we come against thrones, dominions, every name that is named. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. He said that at the name of Jesus, every name must bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. And every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You're going to shout the name Jesus. We shout that because it is the name that brings deliverance. It is a name that brings healing. It is a name that brings breakthrough. Please hear me. There are many of you who have come here thinking you are sick. You are not really sick. You are oppressed. Acts 10 38. Healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. It's an oppression. Mysterious diseases that cannot be explained. Your time has come now. In the name of Jesus, someone is going to shout loud under the anointing and that is not the shout, the shout is coming. And then I'm going to begin to minister deliverance to people by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Listen. God sent me for your sake. I want your heart to be open. There is no reason, no reason. When God wants to help you, he reduces the distance between you and a vessel he has anointed. Are you ready? That one shout, you will shout it just once. And every yoke, every devil please make sure you bring them out very quickly prayer department help ushers please we can't depend on if you're in prayer department here you are released you are anointed to go and help do the work with ushers too in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead I decree right now that everyone under the sound of my voice God you know how many people came here with aparikata with oppressions in their families. You know how many people you sent here by your spirit whose destinies would otherwise not be opened. You know how many people who have been asking for answers in the name of Jesus as your people shout, everything that is not of God, ordinances, curses, yokes, plagues upon plagues, let it give way now. At the count of three, you are going to shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Break. Break. Chains break. Break. Chains break. In the name of Jesus. Altars be destroyed. Be set on fire. Over families be set on fire over destinies be set on fire over careers be set on fire at the shout of Jesus be set on fire bring them out in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray the Lord is ministering to me. You have applied for jobs. There is nowhere you have not gone to. You have submitted CVs. But sometimes you even go for the first phase of the interview. But after that, everywhere is shot. In the name of Jesus, I declare, the power stopping you, cutting favor from you. As I speak right now, in the name of Jesus, that power is destroyed now. 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 The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the map and I'm seeing Nasarawa State. There's someone you are from Nasarawa State. 
the plague of witchcraft has trapped you. Where are you from? Where is this lady from? Nasara State. Stand up. We hail you, most high. Please give her the mic. My sister, where are you from? I'm from Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. Yes, I came from Lagos. <laughs> but you are from Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. <laughs> Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. This is what I'm saying. Yes. From Nasarawa State. Not necessarily just her. When he says to one, he says to all. Nasarawa State. I'm seeing a mighty deliverance that is about to happen to families connected to Nasarawa State. I want to pray. Anyone who is from that state and has been trapped by witchcraft that you don't go forward. Horns that have kept you down so that your head is not lifted. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, fire from heaven, let it rest upon you. Fire from heaven, let it rest upon you. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory. The Help that lady. a police officer a police officer I'm seeing a woman police you are wearing red a police officer you're my glory confirm please verify is she a police officer there should be someone talking to them huh where you know sometimes people see these things and think that you are just not everybody is playing games so let me tell you you listen to me not everybody is playing games. There are people who have been forged from the fires of affliction. Before you vet people, I want you to research on their journey with God. Not everybody is a joker. Do you understand? So I need to say this now because I know that sometimes they think everybody prophesying is just a joker. No. 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 What, where, when, what's your name? Garros, Bishus. You're a police officer? Yes, sir. Where? Force headquarters. Where's Force headquarters? Luis Edith. You're all police officers. My sister, something is about to happen to you that will make you shed the tears of joy. I don't know you all, but you will see the wonder-working power of God. Who is Regina? I'm hearing a name, Regina. Regina. If it's not your name, don't come out here and say, I just came to be blessed. Please, let's be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. If it's not your name, please. You will still receive. But if it's not your name, don't tell lies. We're in the house of God. Madam, is your name Regina? Huh? Come again? You are, okay, you're a police officer. No problem. Come. Regina. I'm hearing Regina. Your name is Regina. Where are you coming from, madam? Je parle français. I speak in okay. French. Okay, somebody, she needs an interpreter. Where are French people? Please, quickly. Don't worry. Let her be comfortable. PR, please, let's have a French person. She can speak the French and then we'll have someone interpret. Let me be ministering to this one first where well, she can be patient. Your name is... Regina. Regina. Yes. My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Everything that would have killed you in August by the power that raised Christ from the dead, these dreams you are having of seeing dead bodies, I stand in the name of Jesus. Right now, let the spirit of death help her. I cast that spirit out of you. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. What is your name? Suleiman. Yes, sir. From Suleiman. where? From Ogunste, sir. Come again? Ogunste, sir. You are Suleiman from Ogunste? Yes, sir. Is that where you are from? Yes, sir. Your parents named you Suleiman? Yes, sir. You are from Ogun State? Yes, I was born a Muslim, sir. Oh, you were born a Muslim? Yes, sir. I see. The call of God is upon your life. Are you hearing me? There is the mighty hand of God that is upon your life. He's going to raise you to be a mighty vessel. Go and read Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5 to 12. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5 to 12. It's a mandate God is giving you. He will train you, but you will become a mighty vessel in his hand. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Police officer, my sister, I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. This lady, what did you say your name? Garros. Huh? Garros Beatrice. Garros Beatrice. Where yes, are you from? Sir. Plateau State. You are from Plateau State? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, as Amen. God has revealed to me, what he says to one, he says to all. Everyone interested in climbing that ladder because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. As God is speaking to her, this officer, I decree and declare whatever is stopping you from rising, we bury it now. We bury it now. We bury it now. My dear, I release grace upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Find favor with your superiors in the name of Jesus Christ. The officers, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare you will not die in service. The Lord will preserve you. This woman placing her hand on her head, I rebuke the spirit of death. You, I curse it now from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse it now from you. Because I'm seeing this woman go somewhere, not returning back again. Hallelujah. There is a gentleman here. You work in a tech company. You work in a tech company. All the people who are involved in apps and all of that. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing you. I, you don't have to come out. But I'm seeing a gentleman. I'm seeing you leave to the US and God is connecting you with a big tech firm and he will lift you there. And because of that, I'm seeing you lift your loved ones. This is a gentleman, you work in a tech firm. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, the God who reveals is also the God who performs. I declare, let there be a performance to this prophetic word. Let there be a performance to this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a court case over land. This is what I'm seeing. I can imagine that with the crowds here, the probability is high that there's some kind of land thing, but there's, this is a very huge property and there is a court case over it. This is a family property and there is a court case over it. And the Lord is telling me to declare mercy so that it will not be taken from that family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree by the power that raised Christ from the dead, because you have come here tonight, may God show you mercy. 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 The Lord is speaking to me. Are you ready to interpret? Okay, go ahead. So let her speak and then tell her to speak and then you interpret. Let's. Okay, for Parkley McNaught. So she's called Regina. Okay. And we are from Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are her husband. Yes. You're most welcome. We are God from bless you. Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are from Congo Brazzaville. Yes. I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pray for you. Okay. What do you do? I work for the World Food Program. I'm the deputy country director. Okay. And I work with um, Pastor Timothy Adeyinka. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I'm going to pray for you and your wife, Regina. The month of September is a strange month of breakthrough for both of you. Please go on. Can you tell her? Let her is she hearing me? I need her to believe. Tell her that I said so. You don't have to say it with a mic. It's your wife, so talk to her. 
in the name of Jesus for you and for her the month of September from September 15th upwards my God is going to open strange doors for you and I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit you came from Congo Brazzaville listen my friend you will return back here and you will testify you and your wife in the name of Jesus let strange doors be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus let strange doors be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus I'm about to pray but the Lord is showing me someone your mother has cancer we're going to pray but there's someone your mother has cancer your mother has cancer father in the name of Jesus whether mama is here or connected online I'll soon be praying for the sick now you see this cancer thing here eh, is a killer spirit that thing is not sickness oh is a demon sent from hell because once it comes upon you the first thing it does is to stop the progress of your life the second thing it does is to devour your finances and that of all those around you then finally take your life is that sickness that's not sickness that is the character of satan it steals it kills and destroys whatever steals kills and destroys is a thief and it's not a thing it's a person I use the opportunity to pray for everyone suffering the plague of cancer he said with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation I'm praying right now lung cancer breast cancer prostate all kinds of demonic cancers by the power that raised Christ from the dead hence God has revealed it I declare healing now hence God has revealed it I declare healing now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a lab coat and a stethoscope and the Lord is saying I should pray for all the medical people I often I would usually not do this but if you are a doctor here please come out something is about to happen in the world of doctors if you are if you are not a doctor and you come here we'll send you back please you are a doctor doctor listen to instructions doctor please come let's celebrate them as they come you are a doctor medical doctor you can stand you don't have to kneel hallelujah I'm not a prophet of doom and I'm careful when I say things like this but as I'm standing right now I'm seeing coffins and I'm seeing lab coats on them I don't know what it is but this is doctors just dying like this not doctors medical doctors and the Lord is saying to pray for them let me give one minute please hurry up we have a lot to do if you're a doctor please you should be healthy and agile if there are doctors outside those following online you're a doctor please connect I want to pray for you there are arrows that fly by day there are noisome pestilences it is not unusual for Satan to want to strike you because you are the ones who midwife the healing power of Jesus doctors please come not doctors in training doctors if you are still in medical school God bless you but we pray that you will become a doctor one day but doctors practicing doctors please I'm seeing a coffin and I'm seeing a lab coat on it lab coats lab coats this is like a doctor passing this is not just a koinonia thing oh. I'm praying for the body of Christ let me tell you the truth the purpose of the prophetic if done with integrity is not to create fear and it's not to deviate people from the patterns of Christ prophecy exhorts prophecy comforts prophecy gives direction are we together doctors let's stretch our hands towards them in one minute pray like you are praying for your sister pray like you are praying for your brother doctors will not die whatever this vision means one thing we know is that there is a name that is above all names and no doctor here is appointed unto death not by the same sicknesses they are treating and not by a demonic plague that will move like a virus and kill them go ahead and pray 
koinonia pray we're a responsible ministry we stretch our hands over these doctors as a point of contact to all other doctors and medical practitioners every plague that hell is preparing to kill and destroy doctors by the power that raised Christ from the dead we avert it now we avert it now we avert it now we avert it now they are instruments of God's mercy God will preserve them as such they are instruments of God's grace God will preserve them as such they are instruments of longevity God will preserve them as such in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare using you as a point of contact to those who are falling online and the many medical practitioners we have by the power that raised Christ from the dead while you minister to us by priesthood I speak leave leave and not die I speak the blessing of Reuben upon you it says let Reuben live and not die and let his men not be few I say to you again let Reuben live and not die and let his men not be few one more time let Reuben live and not die and let his men not be few in Jesus name we pray God bless you please return back rejoicing 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 hallelujah return back rejoicing I struggle to share this vision but my conscience will not allow me if I don't share it we need to pray yesterday while I was praying I saw a vision and I saw that the devil wants to bring back something in this nation that once happened the era of bomb blast I saw this in my vision and the Lord it, it came as if it was something physical that I was there and the Lord said I should pray this is not to scare you again prophecy does not bring fear are we together now yes the dominion power of the word is greater than anything we see and the purpose of revelation is to bring salvation and redemption but I saw this that there is a plot again to revive this thing about bomb blasts again the church has the authority to stop this devilish thing are we together the nations are crossed and the nation is already going through too much every bloodthirsty spirit hear what I'm saying it was here I stood last year and I preached I shall not want I told you that I had a vision and in that vision that I saw that there was going to be a lot of economic hardship and even as a ministry we said we would take responsibility and thankfully we we're able to partner with CSS farm to be able to do something small I'm not somebody who comes on air and waste my time I respect God but I also respect myself are we together the teaching ministry is enough for me the miracle ministry is enough for me but if I come out here to tell you God said then it's not only because I saw is because it's impressed it upon my spirit are we together you have invested your trust and your loyalty I will not come and play games not at this point of my life in ministry why is God revealing this so that we we'll pray I'm going to pray for the sick but we are going to pray pray so that it will not be where you are there remember how Mordecai warned Esther he said don't you think the plot of Haman is just for all of us God has brought you for such a time as this number one we are going to pray this nation is God's nation for the sake of the elect God will preserve his name number two we are going to pray anybody working with elemental forces to resurrect something we have casted out of this nation we are going to ask the earth to open and swallow them you don't like that prayer but keep quiet while I do the praying in the name of Jesus are we together and then number three we are going to pray for the armed forces defense police civil defense for wisdom courage and grace 
you may not know how these people labor until you have a husband or a brother or a child that while you are sending them to go and fight you don't even know whether they will return back are we together can we lend our voices to pray in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray blood testy spirits over the soul of nigeria blood testy spirits over the soul of this nation to resurrect mayhem to resurrect evil to resurrect death in the name of jesus christ whether as sacrifices or demonic orchestrations we call upon god who is a jealous warrior arise for your namesake god reveals to redeem arise for your namesake in the name of jesus arise for your namesake by the power that raised christ from the dead we avert evil we avert evil we avert evil we avert evil in the north in the south the east the west of nigeria we have had evil in abuja here the f city our going out and coming in is blessed in the name of jesus we pray for the law enforcement agencies grace integrity of service in the name of jesus that perpetrators of mayhem will be apprehended and brought to justice we empower them by prophecy we empower them with wisdom we empower them with grace in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah use this opportunity to declare the covering of the blood over yourself and your loved ones mention them my name my child will not die my mother will not die if they leave my house in the morning they will return in the night if they leave my house in the morning they return in the night if i take a flight it will not crash if i go by road there is no accident in the name of jesus blood testy spirits walking through evil men walking through wicked men it will not come near my dwelling not the arrows that fly by day not the moisture pestilences not the destructions that waste in noonday In Jesus name in Jesus name your business can only thrive when there is peace your business can only thrive when there is peace are we together you can only go to school when there is peace Satan wants to fight the soul of this nation but the devil is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ there are still witnesses and envoys preservers of God's purposes in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God hallelujah I want to pray for the sick now and I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing it is a major reason why you came here lay your hands Matthew 4 24 Matthew 4 24 I want to pray for the sick now and his fame went throughout all Syria be seated for a moment and they brought unto him all the sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those that were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and the Bible says he healed them everyone say he healed them in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 35 profound scripture Matthew 9 35 and Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people healing every sickness and every disease among the people why is the healing ministry important hallelujah the first sign that accompanies the preaching of the gospel according to Matthew 10 and verse 8 was heal the sick as you go preach say in seven the kingdom of God of heaven is at hand prove the validity of that kingdom by number one healing the sick 
The healing ministry is beyond a demonstration that a man of God is anointed or powerful. Every manifestation of sickness is death. It's a measure of death being ministered to your body. And I told you that there is a requisite level of health you must have for your spirit to remain in your body. Are we together? If your body is so deteriorated that it cannot carry your spirit, then a separation will have to happen, whether it is your time or not. We call it untimely death. So when God heals, he's not only demonstrating his power, it is his commitment towards your well-being and your longevity. Some of you may not even know you are sick, but as you are soaking in that atmosphere, that seed the devil wants to plant, before it arrives, it goes back to hell from where it came from. Are we together now? Now place your hand. There's a reason why I'm asking you not to stand. Place your hand for you or for your loved one. You can stand for your loved one. You are in this place, outside, all the overflows, down to the basement, and those who are connected across the globe, those who are connecting, airing this program in various hospitals, here is your chance now. You can put um, the, the, whether your screen or phone, whatever, on the sick person. Let them be able to hear, provided they can hear. I want to minister the healing power of Jesus right now. Already, in the course of the service, many things have happened. I'm going to pray for you very quickly. When I do, the power of God will rest upon you. I want you to check yourself. The moment you see that the power of God has come upon you, very quickly, we have to take a few testimonies to give witness to the resurrection power of Jesus. Don't sit back when a miracle happens. Someone's faith is depending on your testifying. So I'm going to pray. When I pray and release the power of God, whether you came here earlier on or now that I'm praying, you will check yourself inside or outside. If you need to confirm your sickness, there's a medical stand outside of this auditorium by my left. Doctors are there to verify. And the moment that happens, I'm going to pray for you. By the word of knowledge, I will mention cases and minister to you. But receive. Remember what I taught you? The manifestation of your healing is about to happen through prophetic words. As I speak to you like Elisha directed Naaman, some of you laying your hands some of you whatever the holy spirit will decide make sure that you receive don't just say amen make sure you are receiving it's like someone who is swallowing a pill you expect it to work and the moment that miracle happens in your body i want you to leave your seat when i ask you to and come and stand either by my left or by my right let's take a few testimonies to glorify the name of the lord then we'll pray over the requests, speak over you, and we're done. But someone came today traveling distances, miles, kilometers, to receive the healing power of Jesus. Perhaps for you it may not be a financial problem. You are just plagued with some kind of sickness. HIV, cancer, bone problem, eye problem, ear problem. Are we together? All kinds of blood conditions, hepatitis, lumbar spondylosis, weakness in your body, heart palpitations, parts of your body not able to move again, glaucoma, cataract, doesn't matter in what form or what fashion, your hair falling, memory loss, some of you are here with autistic children, trusting for a miracle, some of you when you stand for long, you start feeling dizzy, hearing problems seeing problems in the name of jesus it doesn't matter what it is called provided it has a name it has a knee and it will bow to the lordship of christ are you ready now place your hand there believing i want to speak over your life believe in the resurrection power of jesus for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. 
There is no one else Lord, you reign forever Lord, you reign forever I worship you I worship you Lord, you reign Yes, you reign The Lord that heals, the Lord that lifts from the bed of affliction, the Lord that restores life and health to your flesh, the one who brings health and brings cure. Now I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, Every spirit that is at the back of any infirmity, every spirit that is at the back of any disease, any spirit that is at the back of any bodily affliction, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare you leave these bodies now. I declare you leave these bodies now. I declare you leave these bodies now. I declare you leave these bodies now in the name of Jesus now I pray for every blind eye here inside and outside I command that blind eye to be open now thank you Jesus I command every deaf ear every hearing problem by the power that raised Christ from the dead begin to hear now HIV be healed now hepatitis be healed now heart problems painful you cannot even lie by your left lie around your heart area in the name of Jesus let the power of God search through your body now urinary problems you keep you cannot stand for long and then you want to ease yourself again this is what i'm saying the lord is healing that person right now Amen. urinary problem be healed now in the name of jesus christ i've seen this many times while ministering you are a lady you don't have children yet you are lactating you are not breastfeeding a child yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now there's someone you are not deaf but there is a noise you hear in your ear sometimes it's as if you know how a television is about to start that noise a very discomforting noise is lasted for many years the Lord is healing you right now severe migraine headache is being healed now in the name of Jesus there is someone you have what the medical doctors call appendicitis it's not yet gotten to the stage for surgery but you're already beginning to feel severe pain by your right side sometimes you have to hold yourself because of excruciating pain the power of God is touching you right now do you believe my prayer the power of God is touching you right now every bone condition if you came here and you could not walk or you could not walk well you are using an aid you are using a crutch you are using a wheelchair or you're using any kind of aid as I'm praying right now I want you to begin to test yourself and start walking begin to test yourself and start walking begin to test yourself and start walking in the name of Jesus Christ begin to test yourself and start walking I'm praying for someone it looks like goiter but it's not goiter you're beginning to have a swelling around your neck area I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know what it is. I'm just seeing it in my vision. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, let that growth dissolve. There's someone I'm seeing you have 
around your armpit not directly just around your armpit there is something that looks like a lymph node it's grown there and it's refused to go back the power of God is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare every sickness every disease peptic ulcer be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now there's someone you cannot you can't bend over there's severe pain looks like a sharp pain around your back I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know if it's you or someone connected to your family but there is a problem of incoherence it's like a psychosomatic problem sometimes the person loses himself and begins to speak anyhow but returns back to his right senses shortly after I don't know who that person is whether you or your family member I'm seeing it the power of God is touching that person now I bring you life and I bring you healing I bring you life and I bring you healing I'm seeing someone one of your molars there's severe pain severe pain really painful right now as I'm speaking to you you will check that pain and not find it again in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare be healed now someone say I am healed shout it say I am healed in the name of Jesus say it again I am healed in the name of Jesus say it for the last time I am healed in the name of Jesus creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do for us. Thank you for watching.